Well, I'll tell you what it meant for the U.S. to win the race to 4G. I think, you know, if you don't believe the hype, just look back to history as your guide. Don't take my word for it. When we were transitioning to 4G 10, 12 years ago, think about just how different our economy was overall. Biggest companies in the country were banks and energy companies, like oil companies. Today, it's not even close. It's tech companies. And that happened on the 4G network. That mobile innovation happened on the 4G network. We blew our competitors out of the water on 4G after the US struggled on 3G when compared to Europe and Japan. And we have a $950 billion app economy that rides over that network. None of that would have been possible. And what did we do to win the voice to 4G? The same thing we're doing now. We allocated spectrum and we updated our infrastructure rules to reflect the new technology. So winning is important for what Trisha was talking about. When these international conversations are taking place, the countries that are ahead in terms of their deployments are going to have a stronger hand to play in terms of the standard setting and other aspects. But then it's just a basic innovation thing. If you're an entrepreneur and your idea only works on a 5G network and you want to test it, you want to experiment, where are you going to go? You're going to go to the country that has a functional 5G network. That could be the US or it could be China or it could be somewhere else. So we want to attract as much of that investment here.